Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update in my Pendant Palette Challenge for you. I have one, two, three, four, five products here, but it's not much to update on. Seriously, like, I've been working quite a lot on shadows, but I only have one empty. And surprisingly, that is also the shadow I hit pan on. So hit pan and finish it. And that's it. So I will start with that one. It's the Makeup Revolution Palette. It's called Velvet Rose. And I think I told you in the last two updates, that the only shadow I want to use was the dark brown one because these two do not work well. There was actually another one, I think it was this one, a, a taupey shimmer shade and I dropped that palette once and that shade shadowed. And surprisingly I dropped this palette again. So I did hit pan on the dark brown and then I dropped it and half of it was gone and then it just started to crumble and now it's fully gone. Which means that I can also get rid of this whole palette. You know, it's not that big compared to Right, like look at it, right? But it's one palette out of my collection, which is nice. It does not mean that I will buy another shadow or another palette, but one palette is out, which I can update my total already because I only have one empty. Brings my total to 99 shadows. I'm finally under 100 again. It's been so bad. Like, I haven't been under 100 in three months? No, four months? Yeah, it's been a while. So that is empty and I'm happy about it. Then I have made some significant progress on my S Sakura Haruno, English Sakura Haruno, uh, Super Shock Shadow by Colourpop from the Naruto collection. Yeah, I started here and now I'm working my way up. There's still a lot around there, but once I'm done with the main patch in this Super Shock Shadow, I will use a like a, a small brush or something to scoop all of that out. You know, this is like a like a putty texture. You can easily just push it into the middle and then use it from there. First, I'll focus on this big part and then I'll scoop it out and use it up. I have it on my eyes right now. This is very beautiful and has been my focus shadow for over a month now. I still love it, but I'm also getting a little tired of it because they are rather pigmented, right? And it takes you forever to use this up. The other two from the Naruto collection I haven't even touched yet. I have hit pen, but ever since that I haven't touched it at all. I have done a How Will This video. I will link that. I think I have done one. I haven't filmed in such a long time. It's all just a blur. So I think I've done one, which is Istanbul and London from the Nomad palette. So Istanbul and London. They both look very nice. Istanbul is so blinding. Like, I mean, you can already see it in the palette. It's just intense. I don't know when I will ever use that shadow. Maybe as a liner, but that's it. Mm, but yeah, it's like both of them work fine and they're still here. This one is the only one so far that I decided to get rid of. I'm not using that one because it's just not... I don't like the way it looks, but the rest looks nice. And what I've also done is expand the palette in, in White Love and a little bit in Paris. So I think. I'm not, I'm not really, really sure. This is a blending shade for me and this is... Very beautiful iridescent color, but more of a topper shade, so I don't use it that much. But if I do, I should enjoy it. So there's that. And then, last but not least, the big main focus palette that I have. Vegan Love palette by KVD, and this is what it currently looks like. Yeah, as you can see, the blue is almost gone. The green has a bigger pan, and the red too. The purple I haven't touched at all. I use Species a tiny bit in my brows, but not that much. And then this one, uh, Liberation, I have not touched ever since I've done a Howl does. And this one, I don't use. So I figured I would get rid of get rid of Liberation, take it out of the palette, and then put it into my cosplay drawer. Because while well, it is a very beautiful, almost black, but with a green golden shift to it, it's gorgeous. I will leave the Howl does here, so you can check it out. It's beautiful. Realistically, I am not using such a dark shadow on a daily basis or just in general, I don't really, like, this. it's very rare where I use such a dark shade. So I figured I would take it out, put it into the cosplay drawer, and if I do a cosplay that needs, I don't, like, look, it's almost Halloween, so what is coming up? Skulls, you usually need a black. So if you use a, a black face paint and then put this one on top with a bit of a green gold shimmer, you see where I'm getting with this, so I will take this one out, and I will also take this one out because I'm not using that at all. I just don't like the way it looks to me. It makes my eyelids look very chunky. So that is going. Then this one, this is more of an outer corner shadow for me, much more than this. So I will, once I'm done, you know, with the colorful shadow, I will probably use this one with a 
very natural shadow on top. Okay, so but what I've done is Franken shadows. Currently, I have this one on, right? I have no one else. It's Sanctuary and Earthlings, so the blue and the green together. It's beautiful. I use it on top of. The, wow, I almost poked myself in the eye. I use it on top of this one in the outer corner, and you know, and I'm, I think it looks very beautiful together. That's how I use it. I'm happy I found a way to use those colorful shadows because on its own I would have never used it. You know, I always I do my nails once a week, and I always put the Franken shadow on. So that also helps me use it up. There's not that much left. Like the whole pan was full. I'm almost halfway empty with that one. And once I'm done with this, I don't know what I will mix. I will probably use up the blue and then maybe with the purple so I can get some more use out of this. My goal for next month is to use up the blue. I will do that. But on that, I don't have any specific goals. I want to do a, another How Will This video on, well, we are skipping this one on Simplum Pairs and Rolling Twenties. Let's see how that works. And then just continue to work on my Freaky Shadows and then the big, big, big goal is to use this one up. Ooh, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. And I'm, like I said, I've been using it so much, I'm getting a little sick and tired of it. But these super short shadows, they don't last that long, right? They are like a creamy texture. Once they start to smell bad, you should use them up as quick as you can. I have this one, I have two more <laughs> from the Naruto collection, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot. But I won't get my way through it. You know, maybe I use these two shadows and I realize, oh, they're just not that great, and I get rid of them. I honestly don't know what the update for next month will look like. Probably one empty pen or one empty shadow, but that's it. Like, I cannot tell you what it will look like. You know what I think it is? It is the problem with this palette here. The shadows work great, but it's just the fact that it's so colorful, right? If you have a, a net, uh, like a neutral palette or like a berry toned, like let's say Naked Three, right, or the uh, Modern Renaissance palette, you have a lot of cohesive colors that go to well together, right? You have a blending shade in there, you have a highlighting shade, you have a bit of a crease shade, shimmer shade, whatever. This is just colorful. Like you cannot use these together without. I mean, of course you can. I personally would not. So what I do is. I always take just a tiny bit and mix them together and then use them on the outer corner or as a liner. I don't use much of it. So this is why it takes so long. If I had a neutral palette, or even just this one here, right, I can use I can use the whole top row. Well, you can even see that. I can use the whole top row apart from the blue and then this. You can do more cohesive looks with that, right? Because you have the, the bronze here, you have the, the blending shade for me, you have this shimmer, or you have... You know what I mean? It's just the fact that this is too colorful, and I'm struggling with it. But like I said, hopefully one empty shadow next month, and then the rest, anything else on top of that is just a plus. You know, I'm just... If I use up another shadow, I'll be super excited. Worst case scenario would be, and I can already see it happening, is the Look Fantastic box arrives, and there's another eyeshadow palette in. I can see it. I can feel it in my bones. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your projects are going, Project Pan, Panda palette, project use up, project level up, I heard of that, which is great, but I cannot do that because I always do my high wilderness videos first, and then I can use the palette. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you did, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and it's the next one.